Hello and welcome to another episode of Build Fix Eat. Today we are going to be building this mobile charcoal retort. So I can make charcoal at home. Alright, let's get at it. So I recently changed out the hot water tank in my house. This one's still good, it's not leaking, but uh, it's not working no more. So Inside is a 20 inch or so diameter pressure vessel that'll work really well for this project. So we're gonna, I'm gonna strip all this cladding and insulation off of it. Okay, so we got her all cleaned up. We got the bottom cut off. It looks pretty good inside. So now I'm gonna slice this can in the middle. It's 20 inch in diameter, so this one, I'm gonna cut and add about 14 inches to it because I need it to be 24 inch so that this part can slide into it. All right, I'm gonna get going with that. Okay, so I got it cut in half. This is the portion that the wood's gonna go in to make charcoal. And this portion is gonna be the sleeve that goes around. You see I cut the, uh, the long seam, we'll stretch it out. I'm gonna step away from that for now. And I have this old wood stove Stove that failed the wet inspection a couple years ago, but I never threw out thinking I want to do this project. So we're going to build a frame on this and then uh, that goes on top. Okay, so we got the frame mostly done up. So I gotta put a little gooseneck on the end for the ball. But we'll do that later. Now I gotta lift the wood stove into the frame. This should be fun. Okay, so this fire box is, you know, a little older and I don't expect it to carry all the weight. So we're going to build a frame around it to support the cylinders and the, the wood that's going to go on top of this. Okay, so now I'm going to put this lip on here on the outside edge, which is going to use for supports, but I don't have a really good way of fastening it. If I just weld the top side, it'll be very weak this way. So I've drilled holes and I'm gonna plug weld it. All right, so the frame that supports everything is done. Now we can cut the lid open. All right, so. The top is cut open. So in here is fire brick. That's what goes in here. There's one layer. I'm going to make this two because I want the whole thing to be lined with fire brick. And these supports are shot. So I'm going to have to make new ones. And all the bolts are all rusted, so I'll probably cut them off and uh, seal up this hole. That's what the exhaust used to be. And uh, yeah, so fun, fun.
Okay, so we got all the fire brick in now. Got that second layer on there now. It's got fire brick all the way to the top. Just be able to load this thing up. I almost want to put it back in the house. Anywho. Alright, we're gonna prepare the top and put the top barrel on. So the tank was 20 inches, that's how much the other piece is that's going to go in. So 21 and a half minus 3 eighths, and the sides are 25 and a half. So we really got to, we got to suck this in an inch and a half, because I want to try and get two inches around. So all the fire and heat can come around up to the dust. Okay, so I've used some threaded rod right here to, it was really egged out, so we had to pull it in left to right. We got it almost round, but it, it's good. I got the right dimensions that I need top and bottom. And now I've taken this plate and I've cut out the plug for one end and the support for the other. So this will push on the inside, this will push on the outside, make sure it's uniform all the way across, and then we can attach the door to this one. All right, let's fit them up. Okay, so this is the other half of the water tank. This is the section that's gonna slide into the other drum that we were working on. And, uh, and I'm gonna put that lid on and line it up. Okay, so we got the, the chamber done essentially. Um, that's gonna hold the wood that'll turn into charcoal, kind of like a little pressure vessel, but we don't want any pressure to build up in it. We don't want to blow ourselves up. This is the bottom, and this is gonna slide in here. And this will slide into the, well, I don't know, the cook chamber, and uh, then I'll weld this in. But this will relieve any pressure, so when we superheat that wood, it's going to release a bunch of gases, methane, ethane, stuff like that. 
and I don't want to actually create any pressure. I want it to come out and then reburn the fire to continuously make the charcoal. This is upside down right now, but I don't know how big of an opening I need. So I've just gone with that, where you can see right there. But if this does build up pressure, in theory, if this works, I don't know. But if it were to build up more pressure than that can relieve, the pressure should hopefully lift this door, thus relieving extra pressure if there's too much. Um, so that's the plan. Let's hope it works. Well, she's basically all done. I threw a coat of paint on her there last night. A little condensation on her for being outside, but give you an idea. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go fire it up. Just throwing some well seasoned hardwood in here. I'm not gonna go crazy on this first load. This is the first time I run it, so that'll be a good test. Alright, so I got all this junk wood and uh, you know it's destined for landfill but instead I'm going to use it to uh, make the charcoal so I'm going to cut some of this up. About an hour and a half now since we stoked it up and the uh, the gas is there now coming out and burning as well which is pretty cool. You can hear it roaring. I thought it would shoot across but it's kind of like you know, it's kind of spread out like a rosebud sort of thing but it's okay. I'll take the free heat. All right. In about another hour and a half, check on it. Still a little bit of gas coming out. All right, let that burn out. All right, well, it's morning. See if 
we got some charcoal. It started raining outside, so I just drug in the shop real quick. All right, so there's the final product. Good light charcoal. This bit looks like it's not done, but it is. All right, let's go throw some buckets and see what we got. Just cut through them. I'm pretty surprised. Some of these bits were really big. I think next time we might cut them a little smaller. Probably go quicker, but takes extra time to cut the pieces. There's some brown there. It looks brown at least. But it's not, it's it's cooked right through. A nice chunk. One bucket. Okay, so three and a half buckets. That's a pretty good haul. First time running it. Um, I'm very pleased with that. You know, we ran it for three hours to start with. That wasn't nearly long enough. Ran it for another three and a half hours with, with a good steady fire going on in there and then let it cool down overnight. And uh, that did the trick. So I'm going to be looking at a six hour fire and then whatever, six to ten hours to let it cool down. But there you have it. Some homemade lump charcoal. And you can choose your own wood. So, you know, I might try some maple. This is oak, but I'd like to do some maple. I'd like to do some hickory. Got some of that kicking around in the bush that fell down. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. It means a lot to me, and we'll catch you on the next one.